Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to BJ and Co. Today we're playing Dungeons and Dragons because it's Wednesday and there's been 15 others of them. 17 others at this point. So episodes? I don't know. Whatever. We're 17, 16. They're all recorded out of order and I we're peeling back the onion here. I don't know what episode we're on. Look at the Man, thumbnail. If you record them out of order. That's crazy. I know. Very talented. Pretty good, eh? Pretty it looks good. like they're all in order. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening in these sessions. <laughs> it's just whatever. And then I write in between it. Uh, oh, we best actually, DM NA. We nope. actually recorded this in 2013. Um, <laughs> so we're playing D&D. &D. If you like the series, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And if you really like the series, be sure to check out our Patreon page for as little as $1 a month. You can be a co-creator. Don't worry, Chris, not a co, a co-creator. You get your name in the credits. Bing! Uh, yeah, that's right. We have credits now. Get wrecked. Ooh, uh, neat. Are we in the credits? Have you become a Patreon? No. Mm, uh -huh. There we go. Oh. Uh, so we have Derek, Cody, Chris, and Spencer. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'd say your character names, but I forget them. So... <laughs> Well, last we left our heroes. Go for it, Malchus. Uh, the Sailor Scouts learned of Cernoth, an evil necromancer that has this very powerful book, but we learned about it from this uh, lady that's dead, but not a dead because she's a spirit in this house. I don't remember what kind of spirit she is, but she is one. And A banshee? She's a banshee. banshee. She there likes. we go. Yep. And uh, we accidentally wrecked her curtain. Uh, or, but then fixed it before we left, so it's all good. It's like a game of um, uh, telephone when you go all the way down. It screen, and she's a banshee, <laughs> and she lives <laughs> in Canterbury. So they're they're just to reiterate, just to make sure that everybody knows what's going on. That uh, we didn't think... make a curtain of a spirit that is whatever the hell else you just said. And it's actually Connieberry, and it's actually north of Connieberry in the Neverwinter Woods. In the yeah, well there you see, All it right. gets pretty better sure, every time. Pretty sure it was a curtain. There are no townspeople in Connieberry. I tried finding them. <laughs> this is correct. <laughs> it, was, it was it was desolate. That's right. I forgot about that. Alrighty, so uh, yeah, what do you guys want to do? Party of four. Oh, Lady G also works with the Harpers. Steven? What? Oh, right. I was like, what? That's a Canadian <clears throat> politics joke right there. If you understand that joke, put it in the comments. <laughs> no, it's it's true. <laughs> yes. Lady, Anyways, lady uh, I thought that we were going to be heading out to the old owl well. Oh, that's right. Because oh, Malchus yeah. is still like a lost puppy where it's looking for its master. No, now, darling. He wants to see his friend again. I do. I miss, I miss him. And perhaps we'll catch a glimpse of him. Look, all right. After Majesty. after the old owl, well, I'll if if he's not there, I'll I'll give up on it for now. Until he eventually comes back. I'm gonna. I'm not even going to insight check you, darling, because I know it's a lie. And we. Will... I promise. Uh huh. Sure. Um. Then we will make our way to the. Old Owl Well. I really hope uh, our DM forgot that's where we were wanting to go and has nothing prepared. <laughs> <laughs> um, so who is the map? The wonderful map. Do you guys know how to get to Old Owl Well? Um, I do not have a map. Red I have Brand's a world map. Dick. <laughs> it looks like if we head west, so, like southwest on the Tribor Trail. We should go down a tiny bit and turn right. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that way. I also agree. It's only 10 feet there. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should be really good at this. So you guys have the world map, and you had been told where Old Owl Well is. And if you do recall, the world map automatically updates 
of places you've been told about. Wow. Wow. So you guys know so where convenient. it is. Wow. I'm okay. I was not aware of this feature. And when wow. I say automatically updates, I mean you guys have to write it in. Uh, cool. So how would you guys like to get there? You could go... From the blue arrow. There is no blue arrow. Well, I just deleted it. I well, thought it was okay. I mean, you guys can go down that way, or you can go to the mountains. Or Which would be hills. the least dangerous way? Yeah. Path of least resistance here. Uh, who, who's, That's a dumb who's, question. Who's I asking that question? We go, we go over the mountains. <laughs> well, we don't hills, have any but... capabilities of getting over a mountain. Well, those we have are... a cat that can climb things. Those are hills. A mountain? Those are hills. Now the mountain oh. cat. They are hills. Oh, oh. that okay. makes it so a little like, easier. Is it like rolling hills or like pain in the ass? Can't, might you know, not like get over if it. you were to look at like the legend on the map, it would say hills. Oh, sorry. I have a picture of Ganondorf over mine. Mm. Um, <laughs> and hills. if you look at the whatever the distance thing is called, one hex is five miles. So it's not too bad. No. Okay, that part I don't see. Oh, never mind. There he is. Okay. Um, okay, so each one. Who's, okay. So it's like who's, 15 miles from us. Who is so yeah, let's just. Who is checking how difficult it is? I mean. Uh, I think Lothos is probably the most. All right, nature check. Capable. Go. Even nature. Oh, nature is intelligence. That's a good one for me. Twink. Okay, take the first one, the stupid fucking mouse. I have got to get a new one. Have you tried uh, clicking? You would know that... What? The... Um, if you went along the trail, it would be an easier track, but it would also be two days worth. If you went over the hills, it would be one day's worth. Uh, the choice is yours. The, the one day might be the better route, otherwise we'd have to backtrack another two days. That's true. Go back onto the... Let's do, let's do hills and hope that nobody rolls an ankle. <laughs> A I don't know why that was funny. And that way, it takes it takes it's easier for me to scout things out on top of a hill than yeah, because you can side. sit on a hill and shoot everything then. Indeed. If you're on the I hill, will, when I make I will them sit on the hill. You. Oh, ah, shit. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so you guys are gonna head to Old Owlwall. Mm-hmm. Uh, marching order, Diddy Mal. Uh, near the back. Sorry. Also what was near that, the Mr. back. Muted? Uh, um, I'll go first. <laughs> okay. I'm up front with Lothos because we're buddies. You guys gonna hold Damn hands? straight. I give him a kitty like bump. Yeah. Or a paw bump. <laughs> so what's a kitty bump? Did you just try and grab him by the pussy? Darling, <laughs> 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 we're, we're going for mass. Oh. Yeah, we're going for mass appeal here. Don't take political sides. Hey, that's fifty percent of America. <laughs> Fuck oh, I bet yeah. It's over, over that. Yeah. So um, there you go. Most so anyway. watched D and D video. All right. Um, <laughs> Lothos, could you roll a D twelve, please? Yes, sir. Plop. Hmm. <laughs> Do I break my leg and die? Yeah. Instant death. I will no. build a stent. Stent. Stint. That's what I meant. Stent goes in your heart. Shut up, I'm a doctor. Uh, it's a shunt that goes in your heart. No, other way around. A stent a stent goes in your Let's don't please have yep. more sorry. medical no. discussions. Nope, no, sorry. Right. sorry, 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 sorry. Keep going. Um alright, so if you know what a shunt and a stint and a sh <laughs> slink and a slank and a skank is, let me know in the comments below. Uh, Alright, so as you guys are traveling, uh, you, it is rolling hills, you're going up, you're going down, and the day is passing, and it's a very uneventful day of travel, uh, except you manage to travel roughly 15 miles over hills. That's the eventfulness of it. 
And as you perceive that you are getting closer to your location, uh, you crest a low ridge and spy the crumbling ruins of an old watchtower standing amid the rugged hills. The place is so old that the walls are only mounds of rubble enclosing a courtyard of sorts, adjacent to the broken stumps of an old tower. A colorful tent has been set up in the middle of the courtyard, but no <gasps> one is in sight. Do you want me to... I look over to Malchus, do you want me to scope it out? Uh, I think that's probably a good idea. All right, I've never I... known... Moon, can you hear anything with your kitty ears? <laughs> <laughs> I listen really hard and I will I will look through my scope to see if I can see any signs of movement on well or near the tent near the well there's no well but okay oh um, I'm in the courtyard the sorry tower. courtyard cool um can you roll an investigation please oh my are and there signs of anyone being around Mm -mm. Other than the fact I mean, there's blatantly there, nobody. There's a tent in the middle of a courtyard. Well, are there um, feet tracks or things? No. I mean, Donnie, you guys are still a ways for. away from it, by the way. You guys are like... It's not like, oh, look, there it is. Um, about scopes, here's the lenses. Half a mile. Double your proficiency bonus. So this is plus... What I'm about to roll is going to be a plus an additional two. The situational thing, so I didn't ever bother putting it in there. Um, in... Investigation. Boink! So, 23. Nice. Um, you can see that there's some footprints around. Are they bestial in nature? Or are they human footprints? Uh, the best you can tell, human. They're just prints? Oh, okay. No, no, prince is dead. Footprints. <laughs> <laughs> um... I will, I will nudge him. I will nudge Malchus next to me and let him look through the scope and point out where it is. The tracks there, do they look familiar? I don't know. I just see a bunch of bunch of blue stuff. <sighs> I was gonna say, can you roll a performance? Uh, yeah, I'd actually like a performance. Uh oh, is this for me to use it? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll have you know. I'm very talented. I was going to say performance. Eh, wow. whatever. This is a charismatic performance. I'm taking your charismatic directions there, Ashcroft. It's so whatever. Uh, yeah, you can, <laughs> you can see the footprints. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're right there. <laughs> Do they <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Do they look familiar? I don't know. Uh, you okay. can tell with your Does performance that one looks like Carl's. The other one looks like Steve's. Hmm. No. I don't know a Carl or a Steve, but for some reason I know that those footprints look like theirs. <laughs> Fantastic. You've been an excellent help. Um, I will sling the rifle back over my shoulder, and I would assume it's mostly clear. We'll go investigate further. So you sling it while he's still looking at it? No. Uh, can I get a <laughs> melee a attack to the chin? <laughs> Crack. Smash him in the face. I would like to stealthily approach from here on out. We can do that. Uh, by the way... And I will stay far, far back. Alright, just so you guys know, uh, the sun is setting. It's about that time of day. We'll say like 7 p.m. Good thing most of us have dark vision. <laughs> On a three-quarter uh, moon. So you would know that at nighttime, it's uh, going to be quite uh, well lit. Almost as Excellent. if the day after, it would be extremely well lit. He's hinting that next tomorrow night's gonna be a full moon, and we're gonna have to fight Hick. I hope not. Oh shoot! It's been that long. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's been that many days. Well, um, I mean, it might make it easier to fight him because all we gotta do is listen for the gah! as he transforms. That's true. Um, um. All right. So you guys are approaching. Yeah. Cautiously uh, from behind, like as in behind everyone else. 
Uh, I'll go. I Was guess he... I'm going first then. Well, Moon said that he's stealthfully approaching. Oh, I figured he like broke off from us then, because I mean we're not being particularly stealthy. Yeah, yeah. I said I was being stealthy. I didn't say we were being stealthy. Okay. Yeah, I would uh, rather be a distraction <laughs> for something so he could tear it apart. I mean, so there's you know you got your your towers. It's kind of like a castle sort of thing, right? You got your four towers, and then in the middle there's a courtyard. Where would you like to approach from? Uh, where was the tent at? In the in the, in the courtyard. In the middle of the courtyard. <laughs> I'd say we approach that. It's the only it's the only sign that there could be life here. Okay. And I will pull I out will my sneak flint up locks. the wall and, and get in a tower. I mean the towers are just rubble walls. They're not crazy towers. Rubble but... wall tower thing. <laughs> Alright, um as I'm gonna climb it. You are all approaching. Um mm, 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 mm. You can smell a deathly odor wafting from the tower. Somebody pooped their pants. Lothos, are you sure you showered? I always shower. I, Lothos, will walk towards the tower to investigate whichever one the odor is coming from. Being a physician around cadavers, does it smell like a corpse? It smells does like it smell like rotting. A death, deathly odor wafting from the tower. Uh, okay. Roll a perception, please. I smell dead people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you could tell that it's a corpse. Okay. The smell of corpse. Just saying. <laughs> oh, de, oh, de corpse. Oh, de corpse. Um, so, with that knowledge, will you still be approaching courtyard or towers? I will tell both Malchius and Lothos to perhaps prepare a spell. We may need some assistance here. Something's not quite right. Lothos will unsheath his sword. <laughs> I will click back the um, hammer locks on both the the flintlock pistols. Yeah. I'm gonna climb the wall <laughs> stealthily. Right. So, as everybody approaches, uh... pizza time. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Of. <laughs> All right. So, as you approach the walls and tower you see 12 shambling zombies ugh I hate zombies in, in the courtyard the that I just scoped out of the oh. tower like that's crazy pants um. right, so let us refresh the zombies have walked out of the tower into the courtyard you can notice that their feet match the footprints. No, oh, Carl and Steve. Oh, dang it. Um, you also notice a, a, uh, a figure emerges from the tent. Hello? Can we? What is the? What does the figure look like? Like you roll perception, please. Absolutely. They're getting. They're getting worse. I think he's really tall. He looks like a thing. Uh, no. So, Doctor Ashcroft, you can see a stout, red-robed figure with the. Uh, sallow skin and a shaved scalp and a black tattoo on his forehead let me in that would be part of the club Moon does he have a book well. uh no no book i was just seeing if this was the necromancer we're looking for no that guy's a hundred years old no book. well he could be here um the man comes out of his tent and true. yells 
What is the meaning of this? We're here seeking a friend. Uh, it seems that you have a few too many. Maybe he might be amongst them. What does your friend look like? Um, it's just gonna look? sound weird, but he looks like a person that's a bird. You mean an Eric Krokra? Yeah. Says it, he says it correctly as the DM has a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess those are common around here. I've never met one before until this guy. Well, do any of my friends look like that? Like a what? You know, Birdman. <laughs> um, do any of them look like it? No. They're all human? Yes. Or okay. Human-like. Humanoid. -ish. Oh, yeah. okay. One of the enlightened, or one of the... Zombies of stuff. Okay. Um, it, it would seem not. Uh, have you happened to see one around? He, I know he was fond of the well. Uh, do, do I have any reason to tell you what I've seen around my camp? I suppose not. I oh. didn't mean any need to be antagonistic about it. If only I prepared suggestion. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I mean, a lot of things have been interested in my camp, so I think I'd best, uh, you know. A lot of... Why would a lot of things be interested in the camp? Why wouldn't they? Well, I don't know too much about Old Owl Well, but... Um, there's, is there some something interesting going around here? Well, there may be. And I might be able to help you. If you help me. In what way? <laughs> well, there were some orcs. I believe from... Wyvern Tor, who came by and scouted the camp out the other day. And I feel they're going to cause me some trouble. That might be something we can help with. Is there anyone right beside me? I would, yeah, I would be. Okay, can I, can I whisper to Dr. Ashcroft that I think these are the same orcs where there's, uh, there's money for them. Uh, back at the town, they wanted us to deal with them. This is like a win-win for us. That's great, but you're also incredibly trusting of a necromancer we've just met. Is, is there something he's done where we shouldn't be trusting of him? Um, I will ask him, uh, I'll turn back to him and ask where he came upon such corpses. Are these ha Do these happen to be individuals that were interested in your camp? That's more information that I do not wish to share with outsiders. Well, Donning, I'm sure you've just given me the answer. How many other people have you murdered here? Nobody said anything about murder. I just did. Well, that is quite the assumption you're making. Well, you have a pack of undead around you. I feel like it's a pretty decent assumption to make. You have a pack of a walking tank and a tiefling. What can I assume what, how about did you? you? Know I was a tiefling. I can see you. I have a cloak <laughs> on. <laughs> I can see through cloaks. How did you manage that? He's a wizard. Harry. <clears throat> There's no reason to assume anything here. I. The smell of sheer rot here is assumption enough. I don't really need any more than that. Are these people you murdered or not? I don't complain about your smell. And I have <sighs> not claimed that I have murdered any people. You made this assumption. I did. I'm actually accusing you of it. <coughs> well, I accuse you for trespassing. Trespassing? Do you own this land? You look an awful lot like a squatter, dear. I've I come from a long line of property owners, and this does not look like you own any property here. Teach their own. Why Possession I, I is nine tenths of the law. <laughs> I will turn. I will turn to Malchus. Why in God's name is everybody in this part of the world like this? 
The last, the last three people I've spoken with has been, have been just this antagonistic and belligerent. Well, I mean, in this guy's defense, you did just accuse him of murder. And a lot of it. Are the undead I believe... Amount? How many undead are there? Twelve. Twelve. I believe twelve counts of murder you accused him on, to be exact. I wouldn't be too happy, either. What are you seeking here? I'm seeking you leave! He said he'd tell us if we killed the orcs. Ugh. If we if we help you with your task, will you then tell us what it is? Sorry, what was that? You've removed your mouth hole from the mic. <laughs> oh, sorry. Am I still am I still muted? No. No, nope, you're fine. Oh. Um What did I just say? Oh, if we if we help you with your task, will you then uh, assist us in what it is you're looking for here? A few orcs, orc blood. Uh, some orc blood isn't exactly something that I um, mind getting my hands into. But whatever it is you're doing here does pique my interest. I'd be willing to share. If you help me, of course. Fine. What is it that you need? <laughs> to kill a bunch of orcs. Uh, specifically, darling, I don't know where they are. Oh, he said the name of the cave. I didn't write that down. Then please elaborate. I'm, I apologize. I was taken by your. Sorry, that was more bad too. Trinkets. Okay, I will speak in a slower <laughs> pace, so oh, you I can like understand the words coming out of my mouth. Is he still standing by his tent? Yes. Okay. I would like for you to remove the threat of the orcs. Do you know what orcs are? Yes, darling, keep going. Okay, just making sure. The orcs, I believe, are from Wyvern. <laughs> Wyvern. Tor. Like door, but Tor. Is that two R's or one? One. Oh, I wrote two down. Are we clear? Not exactly, darling. I'm not from this part of the world. Where exactly am I looking at that on the map? Perhaps you can mark <laughs> You don't know where Wyvern Tor is? <laughs> <laughs> from a character perspective, am I supposed to know? Or from a player perspective, am I supposed to know that? I came ever... in and Fandolin. Have... Have, have you ever been told where Wyvern Tor is? No. Well, then... I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> How would this guy know that you don't know that? Because <coughs> he's being a belligerent asshole about it. As if I'm supposed to know about it. You called me an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Calm no. yourself, Dr. Ashcroft. It'll be all right. <laughs> what? Okay. No, not, as well, I just said, I'm not from this part of the world. Where is that? Maybe you can mark it on a map for me. Do your friends know... Uh, in character, my guy was told where it is. I don't remember where that is, though, out of character. Okay. I don't know if that helps. Boom, right there. You would know it's there, south of Old yeah. Well. But the man says, If that's too difficult, I have another task you can complete. Oh my god, please stop talking. Let's go kill these orcs. <laughs> is, this, is this what you need for information? What's the other task? Oh, dear oh, god. For god's sakes. I need you to ask you someone can... a question for me. You oh, seem like the easy. intelligent one, so I will speak oh, normally to you. Intelligent? Intelligent one. I need you to ask a banshee. A banshee. What mm -hmm. is the name of the wizard who built the tower at the old owl well? Oh, I know the answer to that. Who did it then? Oh, it was the great wizard Shim Slambu. How dare you lie to me? How does he know I'm lying? Because. <laughs> I, I right, we'll go deal with those advice. orcs, and I start walking away. <laughs> I do okay. not want to 
I don't want to deal with the Banshee again. That sounds dangerous. We don't really have anything we could give her. So you're walking away? Yep. Um, he says, It's the other way! Because you're walking away from where you just came. Which would be oh. back to Connieberry. You must head south to get to Wyvern Tor. <laughs> Then I will I will end this conversation and we will go we will head out. Lothos has already been walking away for yeah. like three minutes. I'm I will, so done with talking about I will that. hike up my boots and, and run that way to catch up to him. Alright. As you walk Stealthily around. go around the camp so as to hopefully he will have never noticed I was part of the group. Uh he <laughs> did not notice you. Uh, but as you guys are walking around the walls, the 12 shambling zombies uh, continues to follow you around the outskirts of the wall, like staying within the well, as if they're like corralled cattle. Interesting. Not really. Why isn't that interesting? Because they're undead. Not particularly exciting. Merely tools. Mm, 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 mm. Um, so, you guys, uh, after this beautiful interaction, um, it's getting quite late. <clears throat> we should set up camp someplace. Yeah, away from away from him now. Yup. Okay, where would you like so, to set up camp? Get a mile or two out and set up. Excellent. Somewhere on the top of a hill. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, good call. All and right. if there are any trees or anything like that that we could find that are near the top of a hill or something like that, great. If not, just the top of a hill is fine. Well, you have found just the top of a hill. Good. Is it one of the tallest in the area? No. It's just a hill. Nothing stands out. They're all close to the same. They're just oh, rolling okay. hills. Okay. But they are getting slightly larger as you are approaching the mountains. The Sword Mountains? Sword. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Lothos, right. you have a peculiar accent. Thank you. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, goddamn, stop! That was awesome. What, uh... What would you like to do tonight? Anything? Uh, well, you know, the usual. Set up some, some watches. Uh, not get killed in our sleep. Uh, and then hopefully wake up in the morning. It's a pretty solid plan. I want to dance a little jig. Okay. A jig is being... Uh, it was a very well danced Pretty impressive. jig. Pretty impressive di jig. I've never known even a human to dance that way. You are magnificent. While he's dancing, um, or jaunting, or whatever, uh, Moon, darling, how do you feel about getting your blood, or getting your blood, good lord, getting your hands wet with some necromancer blood tomorrow? We're gonna kill uh, her? Uh, he did seem a little shady. And I know mm. shady. I didn't That's think he I... was that bad of a guy. You're awfully trusting. Especially I've never known a good necromancer. Oh, I've never met a necromancer before. Ah. That's your problem. Being able to wield undeath isn't exactly the most um, kind-hearted greeting one can one can give, especially to outsiders. He wasn't particularly welcoming. Granted, I was relatively accusatory, but I feel like I had pretty good standards for why. Also, he was just rude. Rudeness shouldn't be something that we allowed to stand. I guess that's true. He was a little rude. Well, I don't think he saw me, so when we return visit, we can spring a trap. Hmm. 
I like it. Well, we'll make sure that he actually is guilty of something. Maybe after we do this task, we can interrogate him some more. Perhaps sure. he's got a bottle of milk in that colored tent. My, and quite frankly, my friend, it all will be yours. I don't know if you'll want to drink any milk that he's got. Be very tame. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're drinking milk? I would like some milk. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about the milk in the man's tent. Did you, did you, did you bring milk? I did not bring milk. Hmm. You can so have milk. Say. We will have to get you more. Unless you Can't. have almonds, you can milk almonds, apparently. <laughs> There's no tent on an almond. You can't milk an almond. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I think that will be all the reverie that I'm I'm in for for the evening. I will I will turn in or take I take first watch because you need to take your four hours of rest. Yep. She can take first watch, I'll take second, and then somebody else can take third. Okay. But then I, I need... I, need I, I guess I can. I need everyone who is doing the campy stuff to roll a d12. <laughs> okay. I don't know if highs or lows are good, but... Yeah, I have no idea. I think Something last time highs were worse. Well, then we're all dead. <laughs> um, How big is the Kraken? Uh, Lothos, can I get a perception, please? Sure, why the hell not? What? Okay. And, uh, Malchius, may I get a perception, please? Okay, cool. Um, well, it's uh, quite the eventful, uneventful evening. Yeah. You wake up, and, uh, yeah, that's that. You guys are good to go. We'll continue just, on our way. Yeah, I do have to take a equipment. few minutes to prepare my spells, though. I will do the same. Take my character a little bit of time. <laughs> I will sit next to him and renew some of the runes on my on my flintlocks and adjust the scopes and stuff. I'll break out a map and talk to Lothos about our planned journey and where we're going. Um, Moon, can you roll a perception, please? Okay, you, f <laughs> you find the map. Um, <clears throat> is there any, like, tracks or anything of, like, small game, like rabbits or anything like that, that I can find that I could potentially set up, like, a little trap for? Um, are you proficient in survival I don't think any of us are we're not particularly good campers no I'm not you can try and look I'm proficient in survival let oh, me help you with that trap there you go well at first I was more just looking to see if I could even find like you know the little like I don't know what you'd call it where you can tell where they've been running because there's like a little indent in like oh. the um brush. in the grass and in the brush and stuff um you can make a survival check. Okay. Uh, nope, I definitely don't see any. <laughs> I see grass. There's a lot of grass around here, guys. It's okay, darling. That's what rations are for. Um, Moon, you said you would be assisting? Yeah. Alright, have at her. We have a, like, apex predator with us. Why don't we just send him out again? <laughs> Uh, you don't have any... You don't see any. Who's this Apex Predator? Apex, it would be the, the giant tiger cat person oh. that we have. In. He does not see any tracks. 
But he knows what tracks are, so... But he does not see any. It is important. Mm -hmm. Alright, so everyone's on their way. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, I've got all my spells prepared. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, good times. Alright, so as the party is strolling along, uh, Claudia is the first one to notice that her pack is a little bit lighter. Cool. We were stolen from. I still have all my guns and everything, right? Uh, can you roll that an investigation been something... check, please? Okay, that would have been something that I would have noticed <laughs> immediately. You also didn't, though. <laughs> upon waking upon waking up that my a my bit, weapons were gone? But you didn't, though. She was just inscribing stuff on her weapons. Yeah, on both of them. Okay. You whatever. guys are making assumptions, okay? I need you to Darling, I rolled a 19. Such I need aggression. You to all simmer down. And. Well, I asked for investigation, but whatever. Uh, oh, you're, sorry. You're able to tell that two thirds of your coinage is gone. That's it. So at her noticing she's missing some items, I will also check myself. Uh, two thirds of your currency is gone as well. Oh, that's it? Just my currency? Yes. How much did you have? And I guess what's two thirds? Uh, <laughs> I had 30 gold pieces. <laughs> We're going to deal with just gold at the moment. <coughs> so you cool. Had, you had 30. So I got So you 10. had 10. That's not so bad. Uh, would you like to share how much was stolen with the party? Or do you keep that to yourself? Okay, cool. Do, wait, I, do I still have my green spectacles? Yes. Oh, phew. Okay, guys, we're all good. Um, Dr. Ashcroft, how much gold was taken from you? Or what? how many gold pieces do you have? I honest to God, have no idea. We never got around to having that conversation. My like personal wealth was. Um, okay. Noble start with 50, so uh, minus like five, I think I spent. So 45, and then how much was taken? Two thirds. Two thirds, so you can go. We right. have everything else? Mm hmm. Oh, that's kind of weird. Who's uh, carrying the um... bag of holding? Yeah. No idea. I have my own. I would have like, assumed Malchius, but I don't. I, I don't know. Yeah, I think I was. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, I guess there's gold in that too. Did they take stuff out of there? Mm-hmm. How much did we even have in it? I don't know. You guys tell me. Oh, so they took two thirds of everything that was in there as well. Yep. So how much gold total is in there? Uh, eight hundred and sixty-seven. My phone's okay. dead. I gotta look up my calculator now. Five hundred and seventy-eight. So there's a remaining two hundred and eighty-nine gold in there. Do you want me to add two thirds of the rest of it as well? Nah, just, just the gold. Just in case. Um, <clears throat> uh, t -t 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 -t. Ashcroft, you'd have 15 gold remaining. And Malchus, you would have 10 gold remaining. Yeah, looking in this bag of... Uh, we... Bag of holes? You're cutting out again. Not a good bag. Why do we have a bag oh. of hold? Uh, the... In the bag of holding, what's the staff with black feathers? I don't remember that. It was in a while ago. Treasure room. It was next to this. It was next to What's-His-Face's sword in the, in the castle. You might not have been there for it, but... Um, oh, okay. We had this really big inkling that the stuff that was being described to us was very important, so we grabbed everything. 
staff with black feathers was not important. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out the staff with black feathers and use that for now, and I'll have to check if it's magical later. It's not. Oh, it's not. No. Nope. No, nah, I'm just gonna leave it in there then. <laughs> um, can we check to see if any evidence or anything was left behind of the people that took multiple pounds of gold off of us? I. Uh, well, you guys had started walking. You guys can go back to where you camped. Yeah. Well, we might as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So what are um, you looking for? Not, not to be the bearer of bad news, but we didn't find any tracks of small game. I doubt I'm, we're going to see tracks of things walking off with gold. There has to be some evidence of, of whoever took all of this. If you, d if you don't find, if you don't see this as a continue on, but this seems like kind of a big deal. I'm gonna pull out the the piece of the amulet that I got from my the guy across the ocean, my former crewmate. I'm going to stare at it and say, "I've got all I need right here. Money is of no consequence." Said like somebody that's never truly had any. Is there anybody who wasn't stolen from? Uh, well, those are the only two people who've checked if they've been the stolen from. You cut out a little bit. Who? Me? Yeah. yeah you. Uh, those are the only two people who've checked to see if they've been stolen from at this point. I'll look through my bag as well. Two thirds of your gold has been removed. How much gold do you have? Fifteen. You have five gold remaining. Would anybody else <coughs> like to check while we are checking? I mean, it's pretty safe to assume at this point, but yeah, I mean, we need to head back to camp. I'm not going to allow that kind of gold to just go away. Well, at once we take out these orcs, we'll have, we'll get more money, I think, that covers everything that's been lost if we don't find any tracks or anything, so. Exactly. At it works out not. nice. I really hope these are the same orcs that the town was talking about. But that was a long time ago, like one of the f first sessions that we made it into the town that we found out about that. Uh, you would know that these are the orcs that they are talking about. These are? Yep. Okay, sweet. That's what I thought, because the wyvern tour sounds familiar. And that's where you would know it from. Yeah. And uh, you would know that he has offered you 100 gold pieces. Oh. Well, that still covers pretty much everything that we've lost then. Not even close. Yeah, not we've lost like good. 500 gold. Oh, yeah, right. Really also, I forgot, ab I forgot about the bag of holding. <laughs> yeah, we'll go yeah. back to wherever we camped and look for footprints and uh, anything. Yeah. All right, so you're looking for footprints? Is that what you're investigating for? Or any evidence I mean, footprints, of any evidence... Right. Brush if being you're moved. you're doing just a sweep, I need a perception, please. This is like we're gonna take a little bit more time and like kind of move through stuff. Or investigation, whichever you prefer. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, come on, I have plus six to it. Uh, Ashcroft, you're able to see um, dragged feet marks as in there were marks but they dragged their feet to the zombies the zombies did it they shambled in dragging their feet does it look like there's multiple pole. yeah they does it look like several of them there were multiple and you could tell that it's not they weren't like feet dragged in there were footprints and somebody scuffed out the footprints. Uh, oh, too intelligent. Things. Are we able to follow them at all? Uh, they disappear into a shrub. If only I'd prepared the spell track near duels. Um, 
does do do they look like they go past the shrub? Uh, yeah. You can okay. investigate past the shrub if you would like. I would need a survival check as you're looking for specific footprints and now tracking something. Uh, Lothos <laughs> gets fascinated. I find more grass. He's fascinated this, this with his hands. So my hands are really big. Uh, Ashcroft, beyond your best tracking knowledge, you're not able to find anything. Damn, they're that good. <sighs> well, that sucks. There's only one thing we can do now. Take it out on a bunch of forks. What direction are the footprints headed? Um... Those ones from where your camp is, you guys are roughly here. This is the rough area of where Wyvern Tor is. They would have been heading out of your camp um, northwest. We don't have any means to catch up to them if they if they ran in the night. Yeah. God damn it. <sighs> well, we know that the nearest town here is Fandolin. Uh, so if if anyone does some big purchases, we know who to find. Let's that's... assume that that's stupid. Let's go kill some orcs. I agree. But, I mean, what's important is no one was hurt. We're all still friends. And maybe Hyek will be in this cave. How do you know it's a cave? Because that's what they said before in the town. Okay. Oh my god, now you have like a steel trap memory? <laughs> Very <laughs> definitely selective, sweet pea. <laughs> I don't know, I remember some things, but over. Alright, well then, fuck this. We have to keep going forward. Um, heading back towards wherever it is that we were headed. Yeah, it's about time. Yeah. Yeah. Since you're so eager to head off to find Wyvern Tor, this seems like a very good place to uh, end our session. Mother if trucker. If you've liked <laughs> our session, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And if you really enjoyed it, be sure to check out our Patreon page. And uh, everything there really helps us out to make the channel. Tell us who you think bamboozled us. Let us know. Maybe you can roll a perception that would help not really a 21 was rolled and there was nothing so uh, there you go all right so we'll see y'all next week uh, bye 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 bye